guys, Ralph here, and welcome to Wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous fall day. Been out riding my bike, doing errands, just wonderful. Uh, as I told you, the last several days have been a lot of rain, so this, this was cool. Anyway, uh, you saw the thumbnail. Misconceptions about the 1SB, okay? We had a couple comments on the comment section about it, and uh, i got to clear some stuff up. Okay? Anyway, let me honk a little bit, and then we'll get to it. C and the first page of the Fritz Werner Concert Town, which is a difficult, difficult piece. Anyway, I just got a new shipment of 1SBs in last week. So anybody that ordered one and did not get it yet, uh, get in touch with me. Okay, get in touch with me today and I'll get it in the mail today. I think I have everybody. But um, we went about a month without any mouthpiece, and the back orders built up, and so on. But anyway, there were some misconceptions about the 1SB and in the comment section. And, you know, it, it, it's hard to get uh, somebody's tone, you know, and, and their mindset out of texting in, in the comment section. You don't know if they're being abrasive, you don't know if they're trying to be funny, or whatever the case may be. This guy sounded sincere. He's been a pretty common, um, pretty commonly is giving uh, little pearls of wisdom to the uh, comment section. So I, I'm taking it for what it's worth, okay? But he said, uh, it's not all the mouthpiece. There's a lot more to my system than just all the mouthpiece. And he said the mouthpiece didn't work for them, him, and he gave it to a friend who loved it. Okay. Now, I told him. Thank you. He loves the videos. I said, thank you for the compliment on the videos, guys. But, dude, you're not watching the videos. I mean, if you got the impression that I'm saying this is just a magic mouthpiece and there's nothing else to it, I never, never said that at all. Never once. The physiology of the pedagogy is forefront in anything we do. Anything we do. Now, am I saying the 1SB is an absolute masterpiece in mouthpiece design and manufacturing? Absolutely. It is the best, not even close, the best mouthpiece on the market for any player, for any style of music, and I stand by that. Jerry stands by it, stood by it, and he stopped for the first time in 40 years he stopped making mouthpieces because he had it. This was it, okay? This is it, and I stand by that. I am not gonna design another mouthpiece. I don't know who is gonna pick up the sword and dagger and, and take it to the next level, but guys, we are set for as far as I can see. We are set for eternity. There, I, I can't see anything beating this mouthpiece. now. 
instrument design may get to a point where certain mouthpieces are not compatible with certain trumpets. That may come into play and rear its ugly head. As of right now, needless to say, a Talat, a Bach, a Yamaha, a Shilke, the 1SB sounds great in all of those. Case closed. Uh, and why I'm just saying in general. Monet, it's a different blow. Okay? Uh, and if you want a Monet sound, more power to you. You don't want a one SB. Okay? Anyway, um, and that's fine. That's fine. Now, what the one SB does, now, he said it didn't work for him. Now, I have never heard this guy play a note. I can guarantee you he's overblowing. And I told him, and I've said right up on these videos, guys, if you're not playing the true power slash callet way, this mouthpiece is going to close off on you. It does not work for other armatures. That's all there is to it. Now, if the true power callet system is something you want, you need a 1SB mouthpiece. It's the quickest and the easiest way to all these results. Other Callet mouthpieces works. I played them for a long time. I played professionally. I played lead. I played big band. I played Broadway. I played principal trumpet in orchestras. I've used Callet mouthpieces for 40 years. They work. They're not as good as this. Case closed. The 1SB on the piccolo is absolutely not even close. <laughs> the best piccolo mouthpiece ever used. Uh, cornet. Dynamic. It's just brilliant in a cornet. Um, I have students. I have people play for me. E flat trumpet, C trumpet. Okay. Um, and the flugelhorn mouthpieces, the one SB and the one SS. Uh, I don't play flugelhorn, but I have um, a good uh, recommendation from guys that sound extraordinary. Dave Perico on um, flugelhorn, and they all say that it works. A lot of people prefer the 1SS on the flugelhorn. Deeper, richer, okay, which is what you're after with the flugelhorn. Anyway, <clears throat> where were we? The 1SB. Now, back to what he said. He couldn't play it. And that's fine. If you don't want to take the time to learn the true power system, then, then, then use another mouthpiece. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. But if the true power results are what, you, what you're after, you need the 1SB and you need the correct pedagogy. You need the correct physiology. Relax corners, tip of the tongue against the soft inner end of the bottom lip, and no air. Okay? Never heard the guy play. I guarantee you he was overblowing. Anyway. Um, and, as I said, the greatness of the mouthpiece could also be construed as its curse because it does shut down and it stops you from playing if you, if you um, wander from the true power principles. Now, that is not a whole lot of fun on a job, but that is a great way to practice. If you think about it, if you had built in a, a mouthpiece is going to tell you when you're playing wrong. Eh, 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 eh. You're stretching. You're good. It's perfect for that. And I really and truly believe that most people that give it a try, it takes very, very little time to get it right. Because the first thing you do, if you stop the blowing, everything else seems to fall into place after that. Okay? So that's that. Guys, I'm not going back on that. I'm not going back. It is the best mouthpiece ever made, designed, manufactured for all players, for all types of players. And that offends a lot of people for me to say that because their mouthpieces and their trumpets cannot make that claim. This is the only one that can. And up to this point, if you look at my early videos when I was playing uh, the number six, I didn't make those claims about the number six. Nope. That was great for all my lead commercial stuff, but if I uh, 
If I was going to go play in an orchestra, I need a different mouthpiece. Don't need it. Anyway, that's that. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.